So sun exposure on vacation is always kind of a tricky one. We're on a little family vacation in Mexico. And um, of course, first day, you're out in the sun and people get burned. I even got burned a bit yesterday and it's just, you know, it just happens. Um, but sunscreen, the one with zinc oxide is actually very crucial. And then really staying in the shade. Uh, I talked in other videos about what we really need from the sun is this near infrared light. And you get plenty of that even in the, in the shade, you know, when there's greenery around it reflects it. So that's actually something that you get plenty of. And the risk is just being in the sun too long. Um, sometimes, you know, drinking alcohol during the day, which I don't recommend, you know, having a drink at night, I think is absolutely fine on vacation. You know, that's totally normal, I think, but during the day, um, kind of leads to bad behavior, dehydration, and then you mourn the sun and you're getting burned. And that's, of course, a risk uh, for skin aging and uh, melanoma, as also a cumulative sun exposure can certainly also lead to basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. So we got to think of these things. Um, but, you know, wearing maybe t-shirts if you've been too much sun exposed, uh, of course, sunblock. And I talked in another video about how to make your own sunblock that you can do with a zinc oxide and uh, coconut oil very easily. And that works extremely well. And you can kind of titrate the um, SPF that you have in the end by how much zinc oxide you put in there. And it becomes you know, very similar to the store-bought ones, but it doesn't have all the chemicals in there. It's not stored in a plastic tube because you can put it in, in, a, in a glass and that works really well. But hydration, you know, staying in the shade and then using sunscreen in exposed areas and really avoiding the midday sun. I mean, there's other stuff to do. And then, you know, uh, kind of using, you know, your sun exposure a bit sparingly. And you know, also after coming out of the water or the, the ocean or the pool, um, reapply sunscreen. And again, mostly stay in the shade. And for kids, they have these great swim shirts, also for adults. They're made with these uh, microfibers and they have a very high SPF. But even a normal cotton shirt uh, protects you very well from getting burned. And I think it's just important to be, um, you know, understanding of that because again, sunburns, we know for sure are very, very bad. Um, sun exposure, I mentioned in another video, we need more sun exposure, but not the necessary direct sunlight. And that's just because we have less near infrared light uh, uh, today than we had about a hundred years ago. And we know that there's huge benefits in terms of producing melatonin in our cells and the mitochondria. Again, not for sleeping, this is daytime exposure. Melatonin is super important to be, it's, a, it's an antioxidant. It really uh, detoxes those radical oxygen species that we produce through normal cell metabolism. That's kind of the gunk that builds up, uh, that, that builds up when we just you know burn energy uh, for fuel and that builds up all the time and we gotta take care of it or otherwise it's gonna become toxic to the cell. And the other thing, you know, with the uh, melatonin, it really acts like a, like a coolant to the cells because this energy production comes with uh, heat production as well. So it has many, many benefits, uh, fights these radical oxygen species. It's uh, conducive to your overall cell health and we're getting plenty of it from near infrared light. So we don't need to bake in the sun and, and, and burn and having all those risks of skin cancer. Um, so best we can, I think it's just very smart to try to avoid it. And it's not always perfect, but and you know, when we keep those things in mind, I think uh, overall we can really improve our health.